In today's Sensors for Mobile Equipment video, I'll discuss a new sensor technology that not only detects a target's presence, but also enables mobile controllers to immediately identify problems with wire harnesses, connectors, and electronics. Mobile grade proximity sensors endure the rigors of outdoor elements every day. Mechanical shock and vibration, temperature extremes, high pressure washdowns, their life is essentially one continuous stress test. So even if you implement the very best installation practices, wires ultimately get damaged, connector harnesses pull apart, and when that happens, a machine's controller can unknowingly lose its sensor feedback. So let's dig a little deeper into sensors. Traditional proximity switches provide an on-off signal to a machine's controller verifying the presence or absence of a metal target. Their task could be anything from monitoring a wheel or shaft's rotation to confirming that an outrigger is fully extended. Now for simplicity's sake, we can say a standard proximity sensor signals zero volts when a target's absent and the supply voltage around 12 volts when one's present. But what happens when a wire's cut, a connector assembly breaks loose, or maybe a worn jacket insulation causes a short? Those faults can generate the same zero or 12 volt levels that a fully functional sensor provides. So a controller has no way of telling the difference between a fault and a healthy sensor. A cab's HMI will tell an operator everything's normal when it's really not. Enter the new digital voltage output proximity sensors. They provide a dedicated 0.5 and 4.5 volt signal corresponding to a target's absence or presence. These specific predefined limits indicate a sensor is both connected and healthy. Any transitions to values outside the green health limits signal connectivity faults occurred. With digital voltage output sensors installed, wiring problems are now easily flagged by the controller and the HMI can immediately generate a service alert. That's really powerful troubleshooting information. You might be wondering, how do I interface this new digital voltage signal to my controller? it might be easier than you think. The 0.5, 4.5 volt limits are actually very common to mobile machinery because potentiometers, flow, pressure, temperature sensors, they all use them. It's just never been applied to a proximity sensor before. This output isn't only available in cylindrical models. You can find it in speed monitoring hall effect and long range cube designs too. Say you want to continuously monitor the amount of wrap material that's left on your hay baler. There's even an analog 0.5, 4.5 volt ultrasonic model. Both two meter cable and overmolded Deutsch DT series pigtail versions are available as standards and creating a Delphi or AMP pigtail is an easy customization. Before we close out this short video, I'll mention these sensors also offer mobile grade construction that includes heavy gauge cabling, minus 40 degree low end operational temperature, EMC protection three times that of traditional proximity sensors, and high pressure washdown immunity. From the electronics to the cabling, they're designed with harsh mobile environments in mind. So if you want your machinery to spend less time in the shop and more time out in the field, call us to sample a few digital voltage output sensors today.